Nursing informatics is a rewarding career for nurses in modern healthcare, and yet it's often one of the most overlooked branches of nursing. I have been a nurse informaticist for the last few years, and I'm really happy I took that route. So, in this episode, I will be going over what is nursing informatics, duties that is expected, if a master's degree is required, how to become a nurse informatic, if this career path makes more money than bedside nursing, the career options with a nurse informatics degree, the challenges that we face, and if nursing informatics is high in demand. After this video, you will be able to decide whether or not nursing informatics is the right career for you. So, what is nursing informatics? It is a high-level technical role that requires analyzing data to improve patient care in modern healthcare. This career path is a fast-growing field that combines patient care and technology. What does a nurse informaticist do? Roles and responsibilities can vary from hospital to hospital, but I will go over some of the tasks that I was responsible for. One of the roles include managing clinical data in a digital format to improve patient care. Here is an example. There is no report to automatically generate the number of long-term care patients that were diagnosed with pneumonia. I created a report to automatically generate this data for each long-term care unit at the hospital with the assistance of the electronic health record vendor. Providing this data assisted the long-term care team to recognize the pattern of patients diagnosed with pneumonia and come up with a plan to reduce this trend over time. I was responsible for the long-term care EMR system while my colleague was responsible for the ambulatory EMR system. My other colleague was responsible for the inpatient EMR system. We still had to know all of the EMR systems so that we could assist one another, especially if one of us was out of the office. I was to sign tickets that end users place when use issues arrive. Let's say a nurse was not able to document medication administration on the system. I would be responsible for troubleshooting this issue and resolving it so that the nurse would be able to properly document. I would start with analyzing whether or not the nurse knows how to document medication administration. This helps me to determine whether the issue is based on documentation, education, or if it is due to the EMR system. If it is due to the EMR system, then I would troubleshoot it on my end or resort to escalating it to the vendor if it cannot be resolved. I was also responsible for attending meetings to stay up to date on the hospital's news, changes to the EMR system, policy and procedure updates, updates in health information technology, vendor meetings, and more. Educating new orientees on how to use the EMR system was also one of my tasks. Nurses, doctors, CNAs, and war clerks must complete EMR training before going on the floor and documenting. I was responsible for keeping the training materials updated every time the EMR got updated. When new processes get implemented or there's a change to the policy and procedure, then my team is responsible for ensuring that the hospital understands how to document properly and utilize these changes in the EMR system. These are some of the roles and responsibilities that may be expected of a nurse informaticist. Not every nurse informaticist educates the new orientee, so these responsibilities that I mentioned do vary. Do I need a master's degree to become a nurse informaticist? Having a master's degree gives someone a huge advantage over someone who does not. I got my master's degree in 2019, and it prepared me to address gaps in nursing practice with CAP analysis, organized data that I collected, and enhance project management skills with tools such as Gantt chart and more. However, it is not necessary to have a master's degree to become a nurse informaticist. 
A bedside nurse with 10 years experience of using the EMR system also has an opportunity to become a nurse informaticist. In order to troubleshoot and improve the EMR system, one has to know how to use the system in an efficient manner. While a master's degree may not be required, a bachelor's degree in nursing is required. Some employers may require the master's degree, so this is dependent on the company. However, a candidate that has has a master's degree and has experience in using the EMR system will have the upper hand. Obtaining a certification for skills demonstration can also bring a competitive edge. Do nurse informaticists make more money than bedside nursing? This is a tough question because it depends on the experience and the location. In my location, a nurse informaticist and a bedside nurse with zero experience will make similar salaries. Someone who has five years of bedside nursing and jumps ship to a career as a nurse informaticist may see a reduction in salary because it is like starting over again. Over time, nurse informaticists have the potential to make more money than bedside nursing. According to ZipRecruiter, the best nurse informaticist job can pay up to $180,500 per year. Of course, this will vary based on experience, promotion, and location. Before we continue on to the career options and challenges of nursing informatics career path, don't forget to go to qdnurses.com to join my mailing list to stay updated on the latest tips and insight from nursing. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button below. What are the career options with a nurse informatics degree? Searching nursing informatics jobs in Google may make it tough to find jobs to apply for, so I will be going over several career options that you can search for when applying for jobs. Career options include nursing informatics analysis, which averages 69,000 to 100,000 per year. Health informatics specialist ranges from 67,500 to 98,500 per year. Clinical informatics specialist ranges from $75,000 to $115,500 per year. Director of informatics ranges from $83,000 to $136,000 per year. Clinical informatics director ranges from $109,000 to $180,500 per year. Again, this data is reported by ZipRecruiter and can vary based on location and experience. What are the challenges of nurse informatics? Challenges include having an understanding of an EMR system. Accepting a nurse informatic position without understanding the EMR system will put you at a disadvantage. It is hard to troubleshoot issues or teach others how to use the EMR if you do not know how to use it yourself. Daily challenges include time management and being able to juggle your daily tasks, train users, and be able to address tickets that are handed to you in a timely manner while attending meetings. You will be pulled in different direction, which is similar to bedside nursing, so this feeling would not be shocking to an experienced nurse. You have to be able to address user resistance to changes. Hospital staff may be resistant to adopting new technologies. An example is switching EMR system or clinical staff that have been documenting medications on administration on paper and now must learn how to document on an EMR system. Creating educational videos and materials can help with education and training. Technical glitches, system failure, and downtime can affect patient care. Creating contingency plans is necessary to prepare when these issues arise. Is nursing informatics high in demand? As more hospitals adopt EMR system, more nursing informaticists are required. All doctor's offices and hospitals must switch over to EMR system due to the High Tech Act 2009. According to HIPAA Journal, the five primary objectives of the High Tech Act is to 1. Improve quality, safety, and efficiency. 2. Engage patients in their care. 3. Increase coordination of care. 4. Improve the health status of the population. And 5. Ensure privacy and security. 
Before the High Tech Act 2009, only 10% of hospitals utilized AMR system. According to Becker's Hospitals Review, 96% of non-federal acute care hospitals and 4 in 5 office-based physicians are using a certified AMR system. This has generated so many jobs and created a high demand for nursing informatics. Ooh, I feel burned out from bedside nursing. Can I jump to nursing informatics? A career in nursing informatics should not be used as an escape from bedside nursing. Keep in mind what the challenges of this career path are and how easily you can get burnt out if you are truly not passionate about managing patient data, project management, implementing new processes, and using critical and analytical skills to optimize system for performances. I have experiences in both patient care and nursing informatics, and I have felt the burnout from both career. It is challenging and rewarding in both direction. It is up to you to determine which nursing path is best for you. If nursing informatics is not for you, you can always come back to bedside nursing. You now have an understanding of a career in nursing informatics. If you're not already subscribed, click the red button below. Liking and sharing my video gives me support that means so much to me. If you still have questions, drop them in the comments below and let's start a conversation. See you in my next video.